Hello everyone, this is Gorax. In today's video, I will show you a poison team that has a potential of achieving 200 million damage despite Mecha Torki having been buffed at after 50%. This team requires one legendary, however, few legendary artifacts are mandatory. Let's go over the team quickly as the rotation and casting skills at the right time is the most important thing. Um, first, the placement, you want to make sure Furbab is healing everyone. There's two um, options to this team, one with Ekes and the other one with Anna. I prefer Ekes as my Furbab is able to sustain the whole team and they survive the whole eight minutes. If you struggle surviving, you might consider bringing Anna. However, Ekes, despite not having heals, brings other utility, such as um, damage reduction when she charms, as if, uh, she, the boss will deal 30% less damage, which is quite important. And my Ekes is not scrolled, so the chance is lower than maybe yours. Ekes also brings recharge speed penalty and healing prohibition which means we will do more damage on top of Crown of Unclean. So you will see we're going to have plenty of damage increased stacks compared to Anna where we want. Um, moving forward, our main damage will be coming from Sigrid. And you can make Sigrid triple hit, well, triple ultimate, basically increasing her damage output tremendously okay she alone can do about 120 million damage if the rotation is correct as i said this is the most important thing so we're using ravatrix roots here to boost her attack and hp if you want your heroes to survive the whole battle they need at least 45,000 hp 50,000 preferably and this helps this gives her an extra a 30 percent um hp and 30 percent attack so her stats are quite good we use it in per set which is an amazing on this boss especially if you can put attack down on the ads to increase the damage from it um we do that with fruit buff fruit buff is built with uh not too much haste but it is enough to do to cast sometimes not all the time but useful very often okay you can manually cast it and if you put it in perfect time you'll get double if you are lucky enough and get double haste runes this will make it even easier but i couldn't now i didn't mention that with secret but it's important you put at least 250 resistance on her if she gets stunned then she won't be able to triple cast her ultimate okay this is important and we are sacrificing crit rate uh to achieve that same with Furbuff, we have to make sure Furbuff doesn't get stunned to constantly apply attack penalty as well as heal our team. If he gets stunned, you will not be able to sustain your team. And he's built with defensive stats, resistance, as well as accuracy um, to apply attack penalty. Um, the only legendary, the mandatory legendary to pull this off is Stegamuffin. He is amazing, despite not being scrolled. His uh, ultimate and attacks as well have a chance of applying all of these debuffs. As you can see, that is five debuffs plus crown, so you can have 60% increased damage on the boss by just using Stegamuffin. He's not going to do damage, uh, but we want to build him with serial set to boost our damage. But if you're struggling with surviving, you might even skip this and put a healing set on himself to heal our teammates. As you can see, 50k HP, he's staying till the end, no scrolls. That's quite a bit of damage, but he's not there to be the main damage dealer. It all comes from Sigrid and a lie. He's the last one, so I'm using a lie with downpipe organs to boost secret damage you can put any other offensive uh, artifact that you have but that will mean secret will do a little bit less damage emperor set as well and we're not building him with accuracy however 
even if you don't build him with accuracy, there's still a low chance of applying this poison. Sometimes it happens, most of the time it doesn't, but if it happens, you get 10% 10 increase. Um, now, this is basically the team and the equipment, and we're building Ekes, I forgot to mention that, with healing set to gain an extra healing. She will not do a lot of damage, but we want her with accuracy and resistance as well. We don't want her to miss anything like this. And this attack also de dispels this attack penalty that the boss is doing on us, okay? So this is why it's so important. And it covers all allies. It doesn't matter about this uh, casting. But yeah, this is the team. And now it's time to show you uh, the skill timings. And I'll go over rotation in a second. So... As you can see, the basic rotation is every 30 seconds for our Stagamuffin, Ally, and Echoes. Sigrid will be on default. Uh, if you're lucky, Sigrid can still get stunned even with 250 resistance. So that's why we play it on default and we need to manually cast it. Okay, you'll, should, you'll see that during the fight. To maximize the damage potential, you want to manually cast Stagamuffin to cover all the ads, not the boss and the ads, just the ads, and Sigrid ultimate. You could also manually cast through buff ultimate to even increase that more. That will be more min maxing. It's not easy. So what we do is, since they are not scrolled and they have initial recharge time high, as you can see, we're playing them on default on the first rotation, and then manually cast their skill again on a second rotation. And this is why Ally is at 16 seconds first, just before the stun. On the second rotation, we do this earlier, okay? Uh, we're going to remove it and cast it again after the second tick of Stagomuffin's ultimate, and then we follow with Sigrid ultimate. You will see all of that in the fight that I'm going to show you now.
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.